this is student Joel. i want to welcome you to this video quickly i want to take you through how you can take your design measurements from inches into feet so as to let you print for outdoor advertisement now in my previous video one of the videos where i was talking about outdoor advertisement designs i made mention of you designing your work in inches so that you can work freely now most times or when you always if you design in feet you are going to be delaying the process of your design the design will take time to load and what i want to walk you through is how you can move from inches after designing and expand to fit now we'll be doing that with Cora draw also if you are using photoshop you can also do that designing in uh, inches in photoshop then when you are printing they take it to the format of large format for art to advertisement so i'm creating a new document like i always do so for instance i am designing uh, an outdoor billboard that is 40 feet by 10 feet what will i do i'm not going to design the work in feet dimension you get i'm going to be designing it in inches in inches so what I will do, I will come to my units, my measurement units or drawing units. I will take inches, then I will come to my page dimensions, my horizontal axis and my vertical axis. My horizontal axis is 40. I will still use the same numbers, the same numbers. And here is 10. I will still use the same numbers. Then I will hit enter on my keyboard. Now this is 40 feet by 10 feet but now is in inches this is 40 inches by what 10 inches so i will have my elements for instance double click on my on my square and fill it with color now this work you are seeing here now is in inches i can work freely with it it will load easily i can put images on it and the images will load freely let's get an image for instance okay let's say we we have this we are making an advertisement for youtube let's say we have this for instance So I can use my, my eyedropper color tool to pick this color and fill this place, okay? Then if I hold down my control and I start clicking on add color, which is black, I'll make it dark to look like this place. All this I'm doing is just to create a template. So that's not the, the major the major thing I want you to focus on, I want you to focus on the the measurement. I want to focus on the measurement, how I'm going to transform this to fit. So let's say YouTube. And take this as YouTube on the go. Okay. Means you can watch YouTube as you are going. All right. For instance, I have uh, uh, a, a dimension like this. Can okay, use red for this, if possible. So I have a banner like this. 
well, uh, yeah, a banner or a billboard. And I want to increase to. Okay, I love practical. That's why. So take this up. All right, I want to do what now? I want to change to feet. I have designed this work in inches. I want to change to feet. So what do I do? What should I do? All right, I will select my work. I will select my work. I will group. Either take this, click on this icon, or press Control plus G to group. All right. Then I will come back to my my drawing unit. Come back to my drawing unit and take fit. This is fit. Take fit. Then you can see the original size in feet is 3.3 feet by 0.8 feet. So I'm changing my horizontal axis to 40 and I'm changing my vertical axis to 10. We'll see how okay you can see how small this stuff is. So all I need to do is also change this dimension to the dimension of this print to be page now. So this is 40 and this is 10. All right, so we have the exact size now in feet. This is 10 by 40 or 40 by 10. If I should ungroup this now, you can see that this YouTube, the size of this text is actually about 3000 points. You get it? So, you can see so you can convert that to curve so as for it to flow well now i just converted it to curve now by selecting the print uh, pressing ctrl plus q on my keyboard now you must convert your your work to curve when you are uh, expanding from inches to feet so that your work doesn't lose strength it doesn't lose um doesn't lose composure and all that so this is how you do it the dimension here now is eight feet and this 40 feet by 10 feet so if you are exporting this for print i would advise that you also reduce it after selecting reduce it a little for the file not to be too big for you to export the resolution is not going to drop because your machine doesn't print um doesn't print jpeg it doesn't print uh whatever file it prints tif that's the language your printing machine understands so that's that that's how you can convert from inches to feet when you are printing when you are designing for at the large format print or for at the advertisement thank you so much for watching this video i hope this actually helps thank you